Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode in my Football Manager Sale. This is episode number 42. And today we're returning with a treble header as we face Young Boys in the second leg of our Europa League last 16 tie. Aston Villa away in a massive game in the Premier League and then of course the Carabao Cup final once again on a Wednesday night against Manchester City as we aim to retain our trophy. Before we get to the games though, shall we for getting on off camera. So, of course, in the last episode, uh, you saw us beat Chelsea by two goals to nil and the 4-1 loss away at Old Trafford that technically ended our quadruple hopes, though, of course, we never really had them to begin with. Uh, two games in a run off camera, both away from home, I won them both. Uh, first, we went away to Switzerland to take on young boys at the Wankdorf Stadion. You're just asking for trouble at this point, aren't you? 2 0 win, though. Uh, Sergeant scored our first round after the restart, and then Radilovic caught the keeper out late on in a comfortable 2 0 win. We were dominating for the most part. And I, you know, I often say I don't really give tips on the game because I'm not good at playing it. But one thing I would say is that, like, when, when you're in control of a game, you just haven't had a breakthrough yet, don't feel the need to change the tactics. Maybe to change the personnel if your strikers misfiring, but otherwise, just trust the process. You'll get the breakthrough eventually, and we did. And our final game was away against our South Coast rivals, the Saints at St. Mary's, and we won by three goals to one. Uh, Jaden Anthony uh, scored his first league goal of the season on loan from the Leeds four minutes in. And then five minutes later, Urasevic got his first goal for the club nine minutes in as well. Uh, Hammer Traore bagged our third with 22 minutes to go. Whilst we did lose our clean sheet in stoppage time, we still Still held on for the big win. So yeah, back on track with back-to-back -back wins there. And I can see in the Premier League right now. That win over Southampton. It's back into a European place. Eight games to go. Now, Liverpool do have a game in hand. They're separated with us and Spurs on goal difference right now. All three of us are three clear of Newcastle and five clear of Leeds. Brighton and Southampton could still make the cut a European spot. Eight points behind. But I think really the cut is probably Leeds upwards now. I don't see anyone catching the top three. I think they're going to gather some pace in the final run and separate themselves. But fourth place, we're only two points behind. I haven't really attained this possibility, but it is a possibility. Like I said, I'm just thinking about these places here. That's where I want to stay. But there is still an outside shot at a Champions League place. But let's just keep it calm. And that is that. Nothing else to show you in the run of Karras. Let's just dive straight into the first game of the three today. As our treble dreams could well be alive. We could maybe win one to three today. Or it could end today. We could go out of two competitions. I mean, am I really saying treble? The Premier League is not a competition we're on for. Come on, Doxy boy. But let's just let's just jump straight into it, shall we? So on the injury right now, uh, Tav is still currently down with a pull calf muscle. You would have seen that in the last episode. But he'll return uh, today at some point, but not for the first game. So this will be our team. It is 4-3-3 Gigan Press. This is the system I used in the last two games. I know we used the Tiki Taka in the last episode, but the two games of Carrie used the 4-3-3 Gigan Press. We won them both, so we'll stick with it. George is in goal. Back for his small cone, Meth. Them. Garza and Angel Blanco, Urisevich and Radilovic through the middle. Urisevic has now got the Wonder Kid tag as well. Tell you what, he's um, he's looking like a baller at just 18 years old. On the wings, Anthony and Traore and Liam Delap is going to lead our line tonight because we just need a clean sheet. On the bench, Ward, Zabani, Mitchell, Gomez, Forsby, Ducore, McKenney, Scott, Batterina, Santinios, Ings, and Sargent if we need him. First to three, it is Young Boys at Home. Win this, and we are through to the quarterfinals. Come on, you cherries. Oh, actually, there is um, there is something to show you off the camera. Sorry. Um, uh, Georgie has, uh, has signed a new contract. You know, recently I was talking about whether I was going to give Georgie a new contract or not. Well, in the end, I did decide to give him a new deal. He's now gone up to 60 grand a week. It is a four-year extension, and he's also got an optional one year as well. No release clause, so it got rid of the Spurs interest because Tottenham were lurking, but he signed a new four and a half year deal and again, there's an automatic one year extension if I want to meet it as you now take 60 grand a week. I'm very happy with that. That's only a 20 grand a week increase on what he was on, which is 40 uh, before the new contract. And to get another four and a half years, plus, well, it's five and a half years really. Oh, a save, which what a save. And his header goes over. That, that's a good deal, that. Georgie locked down for another five and a half years. We get ourselves an early third goal in this tie. That will be tie over. And it's exactly what I want with Aston Villa away on the weekend. I'd love to take the starters off. But if young boys do get one back, you never know. We dominated in Switzerland. If they get one here, which they have, you never know. Mugosa running through. Young boys back in the tie. I trust the boys, but I'm going to berate them on the sidelines. I'm, I'm still, oh, okay, I didn't work at all. I'm, I'm still pretty confident we'll, we'll see out this tie. Like I said, we dominated in Switzerland, really. Didn't give them a sniff. That's really their only chance at a tie, and they've converted. They still need another one, but we're, we're much better at home than we are away. I feel confident. I feel confident. We get a third goal, and that will surely, surely do it. Metham heads over, but I, I still feel calm. 
I'm going to say to the boys here at the break, I'm not happy to perform it's out of there because I know we can do better than this. I really want to take Aaron's off because Aaron's plays every single game for me and Traore as well because Tav won't be fit enough for the trip to Villa Park. But for now, I'm going to have to leave the starters on just in case. Second half begins. I, I feel confident, you know, but that, that young boy's goal has put a bit of doubt in my mind. Oh, what a save, Georgie. Young boys getting confident. Come on, boys. Come on. Keep your discipline. Keep your composure. Get that third. Liam, off the crossbar. Second time at the woodwork tonight. Let's change our mentality and go attacking. I'm going to ask the boys to play at a higher tempo and be more expressive in their creative freedom as well. 28 minutes to go. I can see young boys scoring again, so we will need one. Otherwise, we're going to extra time and possibly throwing this tie away. The Swiss side have really made a tie of this year, which was totally unexpected after our first leg control 2 win. Great ball by Gazlo through to the lap. And Liam down the left. Needs a teammate. Finds Radilovic. 1-2 between the pair. Now Anthony takes over. Radilovic. Brilliant ball. He's so good at playing balls through. And Jade and Anthony should have wrapped it. Can't believe we haven't scored that third goal tonight, honestly. Like, we've hit the woodwork twice. Anthony went so close there. Surely, surely we'll get it and wrap this up. Gaz, great run by Smallcomb. Lovely ball. Anthony, get... Oh, what a save. Three times with the woodwork tonight. Well, I think that is going to do it. And we lose the game, but win the tie. Well, I have to say, young boys did nothing in the first leg. Actually put in a really good performance out there. How we didn't score, though, I don't know. It would work three times in the game. Missed a couple of sitters, but do you know what? We, we might lose on the night. But we, we got the result we needed in the end over two legs. We're into quarterfinals. I'm not, I'm not too concerned by that. I'm not too concerned. There's a weak inside out there. I'm not too concerned. So it turns out the Carrow Cup final actually is on a Saturday this time. It's been rescheduled. I swear this has just been rescheduled. I could swear it was supposed to be on the 17th. And they've just rescheduled it. I don't know. But it's back on a Saturday anyway after last year's Wednesday night, 8 o'clock affair. Unbelievable. But uh, that at least means we've got a week rest until that cup final. So that's, that's good news to be fair. And heading into the game here after the Saturday fixtures, we've now dropped out of the European places after Newcastle won. Thankfully, Arsenal beat Chelsea, so that's good to see. But Spurs also beat Brentford as well. So back outside of the European place, and we must at least get a point in this game to jump back in to the top. Seven. So heading into the game at Villa Park, uh, struggling this year down the bottom of the table in 16th place to the bottom three, being really bad. So they'll probably be safe this year, but this will be our team once again. 4 3 3 Gigan Press, despite the loss to Young Boys, but a much rotated side. Georgie still between the sticks, but the back four is now Mitchell, Mascara, Zabani, and Aris. Ducore, McTominay, and Scott through the middle with Batterina and Traor in the wings. And Sergeant back at Villa Park is up top in this game against his former club. On the bench, you've got Ward, Metham, Smallcone, Forsby, Blanco, McKenney, Radiloch, and Anthony and a lap as well. Let's get back on track here with a big, big win away at Villa... No, I like that. With Villa Park away from home. Come on, you cherries. I always have that ticked, just for safety, you know, because uh, you never know. Like there, there might come a time where you pick your team and you forget that your uh, your last position to pick, you, you thought it was your sub goalkeeper for S1, and then it ends up being your starting striker, <laughs> especially in cup games, you know. But anyway, Villa, oh, what a save, Georgie. I tell you what, I don't know why I was debating giving me a contract extension. He's, he's so good. I, I know he makes mistakes from time to time. And I know sometimes he makes me want to tear my hair out when he comes charging out of his area for God knows what reason. But 13 clean sheets the past two years in the league. He's got 13 clean sheets this season already. So as things stand, all he needs is one more in the remaining eight fixtures. And he'll set a new Premier League record for, for Bournemouth, I should say, of clean sheets in a season. Mascara to Alex Scott. And now Traore. Gets around his man. Lovely ball with Sergeant onside. Well, he took an age to take the shot. And in the end, Strakosha turns behind for a corner. For a goal, it's old stomping ground there. Good save on the one-on-one. -on -one. Should have hit that early, really, but... Even so, good save. Still 0-0 for now. Both goalkeepers making good stops. Scott McTominay back to Batterina and acres of space down the right. Dispossessed offside. Good start to the game. This 40 minutes in, still 0-0. Both goalkeepers making good saves. But that first goal is coming. Ducore wins it. But then Scott gives it away. And now Douglas Louise sends it long for Jacob Ramsey. First time finish by Jacob Ramsey. Georgie came. Caught in no man's land. I think he was onside. That goal will stand. Change a few things around here as we're still down by a goal. Really can't see us getting back into this game, unfortunately. Just haven't really 
been at it in this one, despite the early good chance for Josh Sargent. Pushing our wingbacks further forward. Scott's going to move to right wing back. He can play there, to be fair. A really good crosser of the ball. McKenney's going to come off more energy through the middle as well. And Radulovic is good vision. Right on cue. Finds Batarina. Martin running through. Awful attempt, though. He's really struggled to see. He picked it up after a slow start, but he's still been a shadow of his former self. 12 and a half minutes to go. Better from Bournemouth, but still no goals. Still down by one. Well, I really can't see us being City in the Carabao Cup final. With, uh, with losses to Young Boys and Aston Villa. In both games, we failed to get a goal. So frustrating, honestly. Sargent missing an absolute sitter in the first half. Batarina missing a golden chance in the second as well. And again, you know, the, the XG was good. The XG was better. We had a couple of great chances. We just didn't take them. Frustrating. Frustrating. Back-to-back -back losses. Back-to-back -back games without a goal. And next up, Man City in the Carabao Cup final. All right, now I'm starting to worry. No way we'll make the top four now. Absolutely no way. Liverpool just beat West Brom and they've got a game in and still on 54 points. Well, I think I think we just got to forget about the top four. We're, we're not ready for prime time yet. I said this recently. We're not ready for prime time. We're, we're not good enough for that yet. We're making great steps forward, but you've got to know where you are in life. you got to know where you are in FM and in RTG. We're not there yet. We're getting there, but we're not there yet. I tell you what we need after a, uh, a poor run of form with, uh, sorry, three defeats and five, not three defeats and four, but I'll tell you what we need right now. You know it. I know it. Hang gliding. Hang gliding. You know, this, this, is, this is great and everything, but, you know, in my opinion, forget the attacking shadow play. That's, that's all well and good and everything, but I think a hang gliding session on a Thursday evening and then a nice little fun penalty shootout session on the Monday or Friday morning before we travel down to, or up to Wembley, I should say. That's it. Get the hand gliders out, boys. I think it'd be a good idea to hold a team meeting to get a player some words of encouragement ahead of the upcoming final. I agree, Colo. Right before we do the penalty practice. Um, you don't get to play in a cup final every day, even though we're going to play our third in two years. <laughs> but I want you to all embrace the occasion and hope to come home with a trophy. There we go, boys. Now, the morale's good. The form's shit, but the morale's good. That's something. We went hand gliding yesterday. That was a laugh. And now we've got the Europa League quarterfinals semi-final draw. Watching it. Watching it together in the media room. And let's see who we've got in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Roma, Aston Villa, Rangers, Stad Ren, Juve, Montpellier, or Sociedad. I know we just lost to them, but I kind of want Aston Villa. I want to see if we can get revenge. Let's do it. Xavi Alonso, don't draw us here. Don't draw us here. It's Aston Villa. Next up, Rangers. Are we going to Ibrox? We're not. They've got Stad Ren. Not Juve. Not Juve. Oh, it's Montpellier. So it's going to be Sociedad in the quarterfinals. That's a tough one. And Lloyd Kelly as well. Lloyd Kelly is coming back. He's had a couple of England caps as well since he left us. So he's pleased he's gone to Sociedad. Regular starter there. We're going to welcome the captain back. And uh, we'll take on Sociedad, who will definitely be favourites for that one right now. Third in La Liga. And going for a Champions League spot via the league as well. As for the semi-final, if we make it through Sociedad, that's going to be a very difficult title, to be fair. But if we do make it through, we'll have our Juve or Montpellier. Okay, all right. Sociedad in the quarters, though. I, uh, I, oh, man. A couple of teams I think we could have taken, but Sociedad, I'm not too sure. Um, I'm not too sure. Oh, Yazaval is, uh, is still there. Unbelievable winger, as we know. Phenomenal 13 in, uh, in 25 this year in La Liga. Zubamendi, who goes into a great midfielder in the game. He's also there as well, still. Um... Kelly, who, of course, we, uh, we we sold on. Lenormand is still there as well. Really, really good defensive base player. And uh, Ramiro is between the sticks as well, still, too. So I've kept hold of, I think, all of their really good players. Oh, Kari Kabaru as well. Really awesome young forward as well. Oh, man. Okay. All right. I, I, I think we're going out. I can't just win enough. God, it's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. It's all going wrong, man. Honestly, this was supposed to be the episode where we just make a massive, massive jump up. Prove we're good enough for the top four. Win the Carabao Cup back to back. Come to meet young boys. Feel confident about our quarterfinal tie. It's all going wrong. I've just noticed, though, the FA Cup is being played today. The, the semi-finals. It, it's under the quarterfinals today. I was going to say. I was going to say. 
How can we play the semi-finals at Wembley in the final itself? <laughs> it should be a nightmare. Anyway, Carabao Cup final is on a Saturday afternoon in the end then. As we take on Sarri's Manchester City, third in the league. Haaland still there, as good as ever. 22 goals in 29 in the Premier League. He's won the Golden Boot every single season since this save began. And he's going for it again. How do we keep him quiet in Wembley final? I have absolutely no fucking clue. Right, heading into the game. And it is going to be a change of tactics. And we are going to go to the Tiki Taka. Deep, deep, deep defensive line. So, heading into the game. This is our team. 4 Free, free, low tempo, short passing, wider setup, dribble less, slow the pace down, no counters, all about getting men behind the ball and staying deep. We're not as deep, but staying quite deep. Staying on feet, no silly fouls. Let's see if it works out. Let's try and keep Harlan out of our area. Oh, oh, I already feel defeated. George is in goal. Back four is now Smallco, Mascara, Garza and Aarons. Ducore has been amazing this year. And McTominay as DMs with Scott Furlfour as our deep line playmaker. Batarina and Traore on the wing. So I will change him back to an inside forward. And up top, Liam Delap, who is our top scorer in this competition. On the bench, Lansdale, Zabani, Mitchell, Forsby, Blanco, McKenney, Radulovic, Anthony and Josh Sargent as well. I've got very little confidence heading into this. But let's see if we can pull off the unlikely and retain our Carabao Cup against Manchester City. Come on, you cherries. Oh, God, I've got no confidence here. No confidence whatsoever. Garza heads away, but De Bruyne finds Vinicius. And, oh, Georgie! What a howler! What a howler from Georgie. Mate, head up, mate, head up, head up. You you win me way many games more than you cost me, but that is a howler. That is David De Gea-esque. What was that? Fumbled, squirms underneath the body. City in front, and this could be two. Oh, it is. Diaz heads home, and in four minutes, our cup has already been lost. KDB floats on back stick. Ruben Diaz completely unmarked. And Georgie beaten for a second. Head up, head up, boys. Head up, head up, head up, head up, head up, head up, head up. Focus, focus. Don't don't let this game just completely get ahead of you now. Awful start. It's okay. It's all right. Just just keep it calm. Keep it calm. We were two goals down against Spurs in the Carabao Cup final last year. And we ended up going on to win it. The most crucial thing is you don't let your heads drop. Liam Delap down the right. Needs a teammate. And the four-man City man, back to Max Aarons. We need a good cross from Aarons here. Instead finds McTominay. And it's a lovely one-two. Max down the right. Couldn't find space to cross. There's Scott on the edge. Ducore. Gareth Smallcombe runs onto this. Back to Ducore. As we look for an opening, Man City's very congested back line. There it is. Max Aarons through. Shot blocked. Edison makes the save. Probably won't get a better chance than that. Come on, boys. Come on. That's better. That's better. That's better. Oh, no, 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 no. KDB, wide of the post. Fuck, so honestly, like, if, if, if we were restricted to long-range shots, ordinarily, Georgie saves every single one of them. But in the biggest of games, he drops a clanger. How typical is that? How typical is that? 2 nil down at the half. I don't know what to do from here. Well, I'm going to say to the boys here, with my hands in my pockets, very calmly, very calmly, very calmly, I'm happy with the performance. Oh, fuck. We're not doing that badly, guys. We're not getting dominated. Oh, I don't know what to do. I think we need to keep stretching Man City wide because their back line is very, very tight, very, very narrow. So let's focus our play down the wings. Um, let's pass into space as well. Let's start hiring our tempo now as well. Be a little bit more direct in our play as well. I, I, I want to make sure that we, we stay deep though. But let's make sure we know how we counter press now. And uh, play a little bit quicker as well. But I do want to stay deep. Because to be fair, we're, we're keeping them out of our area. And that is the goal. Um, that we will have a higher press now as well. That's it. That's it for now. And we'll also go attacking in our mentality as well. Which is asking for trouble. But yeah. Se second half begins. We, we need a miracle from this point. Four minutes and our cup has slipped through our hands. Just like Vinny's shot slipped through Georgie's.
Two minutes after the restart. And it, oh, it could have been game. Throw for Manchester City. Knocked down by Haaland. KDB fires it just off target. Still 2-0. Still 2-0. Still in it. Still in it. Still in it. But we need another chance. I, I couldn't see us getting any more than the one we got from Max Ahrens. And again, we're, we're, we're keeping Man City at bay for the, for the most part. But this time, as Haaland's through, it's off the post and Mascara gets it away. Our defensive line goes up just ever so slightly because we also hide our line of engagement as well. And right on cue, they got inside our area for another occasion, which Georgie has to bail us out for. Half an hour to go, it's, it's over. So changing back to our normal 4-3-3 Gigan press here with Radulovic coming on as McTominay comes off. And as things stand, unless we can somehow get a, uh, a late goal, I think this game is over. Man City are just a league above us right now. We're just, we're just not, we're just not at their level. Just nowhere near at their level. Thirteen minutes to go, and we need another miracle at Wembley like we got last season. Otherwise, we'll only have our trophy for the one year. Liam Delap dispossessed. He's been our top scorer in the competition. I trusted him today. Unfortunately, to be fair, he hasn't had much service. It's it's over. Three straight losses. What was supposed to be a dream episode has been an absolute nightmare. Former Cherry, Nathan Ake, down the left. And this could be free. Ansu Fati. Crosses. Oh, that just sums it up. Alvarez knew nothing about it. And he's just deflected the ball past Georgie for a third. Lads, we've gone to three cup finals in two years. Before this... Bournemouth out. He just hit him in the back of the head. He just smacked him in the back of the head. He knew nothing about it. You know what? For three cup finals in, in two years, man. Like, three cup finals in two years. Like, as, as far as I'm concerned, we, we've we done really well. Fair enough. We, we might lose our cup with a whimper. We had a good chance in the first star three Max Aarons. But you know what, lads? Heads high. Heads high. We, um... We, we've, we've done okay. David Garza heads in a consolation goal. We, we deserve that. We deserve that. The great Garza heads in his second of the year to at least, if nothing else, give us a consolation. But it'll be a blue moon over Wembley tonight as Manchester City win the Carabao Cup. Well, it's a blue moon at Wembley. And Manchester City are Carabao Cup champions. Watch it, lads. Watch it. Peel your eyes open with sellotape and watch this because this will this will make you stronger. We don't want to see this again. We do not want to see this again. It's our first cup for our oh, lads. Don't turn you back. Don't turn you back. Watch it. Watch what's happening here. Cartwheels from Ruben Diaz. Edison tapping the badge. Who's I don't know who's on the trophy there. But City with the win. Bournemouth fans glued to their seats. They're forced to watch this. We've lost our Carabao Cup. But you know what, lads? Good effort. Good effort. Heads Fuck off. It's the Carabao Cup final. And we literally, we were the massive underdogs. There we go. Sophie, she knows. She knows. Look beneath the result and you'll see lots of good things from that defeat. Things we can build on. Absolutely. We, we, we went all the way to the last minute. Even, even though we knew the game was over, we still got to go through Gaza. You know, that is the sign of a, a winner who, who keeps fighting. You know, they can talk trash when you're down. You know, you know. It, it's fine, lads. It's fine. He head up, lads. Head up. Head up. We, we've lost our Carabao Cup. Okay, but there's there's still a Europa League we could win. We could still finish in the top six place once again. Head up, lads. Head up. Head up. Doesn't distract from the fact we lost three straight now. And, and you know, <laughs> four in the last six. You know, it's 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 been a shocking run of form. But head up, lads. Head up. Right, guys. That'll do it for today's episode. Big thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't, just like and subscribe. You all have a fantastic day. And after a disastrous episode, we've now got to come back and pick ourselves up because we'll return in the very next episode with both legs of our Europa League quarterfinal against Real Sociedad. First at home as you welcome back the captain, Lloyd Kelly, and then Fulham at home, where if we lose away at Brentford and lose that game against both West London sides, there's no way we'll finish in the top six. Have a great day, though, guys. Much love. Pick yourselves up, and we'll see you for the next episode of the FM Save very soon. Head up, lads. Head up. Failure makes you stronger. Head up.